Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Multiplying Mixed Numbers with Models. We're going to start by looking at multiplying a fraction times a whole number, and then we are going to extend that knowledge out to multiplying a fraction times a mixed number. So half of a group of three is the same thing as half times three. Whenever we're multiplying, remember we always want to draw out our second factor first. So I've drawn out my three here, and I want to find half of that. So this tells me the denominator on the first factor tells me how many pieces to cut my whole into, which is two. Then I ask myself for my product numerator, how many pieces are there? This numerator is going to tell me how many rows to look at. So I'm just looking at the top row. And so I count a total of three pieces. For my denominator, I'm asking, what has my whole been cut into? And I can see here it was cut into two pieces. So my answer is three halves or one and a half. Let's do one more example with multiplying a fraction times a whole number, and then we're going to move into mixed numbers. So three fourths of a group of three. So that's the same as three fourths times three. I always draw my second factor. So I have three here. And I'm going to be cutting that into four pieces because that's the denominator for my first factor. For my numerator, remember, I'm looking at how many pieces and I only care about the pieces in these three rows because that is what my um, factor tells me that I'm looking for in my numerator. So I'm going to highlight those three rows just to make it easier for counting. And I notice that all my pieces are the same size. That's something important we'll look at in just a second. And I have nine pieces. Next, for my denominator, for my product, I'll ask what has my whole been cut into? And of course, it was cut into four pieces. So my answer is nine fourths, or I can fit four, four into nine twice with one left over, so two and a fourth. Let's apply this to our mixed numbers now. I have two thirds times two and a half. I'll first start by drawing two and a half. And this represents a piece that is missing. Sometimes this is also left blank. Now, how many sections do I cut it into? Remember, I get that from the first factor's denominator, so three pieces. Then I'm going to look for my numerator. How many pieces are there? I only care about these two rows. So I highlighted in yellow in the back to make it easier for counting. But as I count, I notice this piece is not the same size as this piece, so I can't count it by itself. So let's count up these four pieces because they're all the same size. And if I look across here, I notice that two pieces is the same size as this. So that means that this is these are each worth half. If I were to add those two together, it would make a whole. So four plus this one whole is five total pieces. What has my denominator, what is my whole been cut into? Well, this is not my whole. That's just a partial fraction. So I'm looking over here for my whole and it's been cut into three pieces. So five thirds is the same thing as one and two thirds. We're going to look at one more example like this and then we'll also look at a common denominator if counting partial pieces is too difficult. So we have three fourths times two and two thirds. So I'm looking for three fourths of a group of two and two thirds. Start by drawing two and two thirds. Remember this piece is not here. And then this tells me, the denominator tells me how many pieces to cut it into. So I want to cut them into fourths. And then I'm counting from the three rows. So remember my numerator is how many pieces. I'm highlighting the three rows I'm counting from. And as I start counting, these are not the same size as this. So I'm not going to count them together. I'm going to have to count them as partial pieces. If I was to make three of these individual pieces, it would be the same size as this. So these are each worth a third. So I'm going to go ahead and count them like that. And here I have six pieces plus this all put together would equal one. This all put together would equal one. So six, seven, eight. So I have eight pieces. My denominator is what my whole was cut into. So over here, my whole was cut into fourths. So eight fourths, which is simply just two. So now let's look at what happens with the same problem if we use a common denominator. 
The advantage to a common denominator is that all your pieces will be the same size, so you don't have to worry about counting partial pieces. A disadvantage to using common denominators is that you will have to simplify at the end. So here I have just cut my holes into the same number of, of pieces as I had over here, the same size piece, not the same number. And for my numerator, I'm going to ask myself how many pieces are shaded with this yellow behind them. So I went ahead and counted them all and got 24. Now for my denominator, my hole is all cut into the same number of pieces, which happens to be 12. So 24 divided by 12 is also two, and I get the same answer at the end. Let's wrap up. For mixed number models, I'm gonna start by drawing the second factor. For the second step, I will split across horizontally using the denominator of the first factor, and I'm going to count the pieces in the row that matches the first factor's numerator. Thanks so much for tuning in. That wraps up our lesson. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other videos. Until next time.